Your attention span is completely messed up and it has ruined you. You probably haven't even noticed it till now and you think you're good. But if you're being honest to yourself, you will see that you lost most of your friends and family and even parts of your own identity to this disease. What disease am I talking about? I'm talking about social media. You consume it daily and it messes up your attention span. So you can't even focus on anything else. Because in real life there isn't an explosion every 5 seconds or you can't just scroll from one conversation to another like on TikTok. So you get bored and then you get on your phone again to be entertained. You can't even properly focus in school when the teacher is telling you something. And let's be honest, you probably can't even properly focus on this video right now. Have you already scrolled down to the comments or video sidebar looking at thumbnails trying to distract your brain from actually learning something valuable? That's an unacceptable way to live. The average man can't really focus. They are doing bad work because the average man is constantly distracted because his attention span is so low. Try to actually give this video your full attention. Put it on full screen and try to learn from the words I say. Because with the things I said earlier, with not being able to focus in school or conversations with real people, that was me. I used to be that kid that couldn't properly talk with you because all I thought about was video games and Instagram reels. It's not just about, you know, scrolling a little through TikTok or Instagram. I actually hated my life because of it. I hated my life because of this disease. This disease has already messed up most of your and my relationships because the thing you interact most with aren't your family or friends. It's your phone. Always by your side, ready to be taken out of your right pocket. And guess what? That's not a coincidence to the slightest. It's their goal. The goal of these social media firms is to get you hooked on to TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat and destroy your life with it. That's their actually goal. And they're a hella good at it, alright? They're worth billions. And they have millions of nerds working for them. Making every tiny, tiny little pixel as engaging as possible. So you waste millions of hours and then another hour and then another hour on it. They're literally split testing every single shade of red. So you're more likely to click on it when you get a notification and then get lost on the platform. How can you say that you have an identity if it's so strongly influenced by the things you see on social media? If they make this algorithm that shows you videos you like, why shouldn't they just program it and use it as a weapon to influence your actions so you become their little slave? I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist here, but it's literally you versus millions of nerds. They probably try to hold this video down so no one sees it. So welcome to the select few that don't want to be controlled by apps. Welcome to the select few that actually have the willpower to make a change. A lot of people say that our generation is so lucky because we have no great war or great depression, but it's wrong. Social media is our great plague and we are fighting a great war against those millions of nerds trying to turn us into little robots tied up to our phones, losing all of our personalities and actual real life relationships. This is our Spanish flu. This is our black death. This is our great war. You have lost a lot of your loved ones through it. You know what I mean. You try to talk to your mother, but while you're talking to her, you just get these weird thoughts that have nothing to do with the conversation and they are due to social media. You know, you just think of school or gym or ass you saw on social media earlier that day while literally talking to the woman that gave birth to you. The woman that really, really loves you like no one else does. 
And here you are just thinking about us while talking with her. And you know what's sad? She notices it. People notice when you are not present with your thoughts while talking to them. She knows it and it's sad. Or you try to talk to some of your friends but they avoid eye contact the whole time because they are looking at their phone under the table and you just look them in the face and see that they just absolutely do not care or these aren't listening to you to the slightest. You, you've been in this situation, aren't you? Or another example, people that had, had great potential but just wasted it because they spent all their free time glued to the screen watching Love Island on Netflix. It really is a great disease. But, 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 but I need to use social media to, to write my friends. No, you don't. If they would actually be your friends, they would find a way to communicate with you. But, but, but I, I need to stay up to date. No, you don't. Most of the things that you see on social media are useless and a waste of time. If there is something really important happening in the world that you really need to know, you will know it even without social media. But, 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 what if I'm bored? I need social media for entertainment, right? Again, no you don't. Sure, it's an easy way to be entertained, but it's also a dangerous and dirty way. And say you could embrace the boredom and try to make space for the thoughts in your head that had been suppressed by social media all along. If there is any other reason that your brain tells you why you really need social media, then just know that this is not the actual you arguing here, but rather the beliefs these millions of nerds implanted in your head. So now you're kind of arguing for them, but actually against you. I'm arguing for the actual you here, right? I'm arguing for what would actually be best for your growth. So if you rethink those arguments that got you into your head right now, you will notice that they aren't beneficial at all, but that you instead should listen to my advice or at least give it a try. Try to get out of every short form social media you're in right now. None of them provide actual value. Instead swap them out for long form content that is actually educational, such as podcasts or long videos like mine. Then you will see your life changing for good and win the war against these nerds. I promise. Welcome to the movement. Stay big, man.